Hey, welcome back to Pokemality. We are back here, and this time we are ranking Pokemon. Melanie, yes. do you know Gen 1 Pokemon very well? Much better than any of the other generations, where they start getting a little weird. A little weird. They were weird in the old generation. I guess that's fair. <laughs> I mean, there's one just, just, he's just slime, so we'll get to him at one point. But, but yes, this we are going to be covering the original 151. Uh, this may be one video, maybe two videos. Uh, depends how long it takes us to actually get through 151 Pokemon. So, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future tier rankings and uh, all the other stuff that we do. So, all right, you ready, Melanie? Of course. Well, good, because our first Pokemon is, is the number one Pokemon, <sighs> which is Bulbasaur. I know. Of course, he's number one. <laughs> well, he is. Which, and of course, that's why he's your favorite. Which, where do we, where do we put him? Well, let's talk about him. Done. <laughs> No. He just goes in S tier. No. He's, he okay. So like, how are you thinking that we should rank these guys? Because like, there's competitive. There's how much you like them. I know he's very defensey. Like especially as he evolves. In the main game, he is like the strongest like starter against probably except for Squirtle, which is used a lot in speed runs. Like yeah. he's really strong for a lot of especially the early trainers. Like the gym leaders and yes. stuff. Though I think Squirtle does have better coverage with Blastoise later. Yeah, so that's why I think Squirtle would be ahead. I, I'm not saying Charizard and Charmander should be sure. ahead of that at all. But there's a lot of good features, playability of Bulbasaur and the whole evolution line. Because he is po he does have poison attacks. Mm -hmm. He does he, he can learn sleep powder, right? Sleep, poison. He has, so then you uh, like leech seed. leech seed. So like you can just keep putting them to sleep and keep like sapping life out of the opposing Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's a forever play. <laughs> yeah, but he's so and competitive wise, I think that he's better than the other two starters. Better than War Turtle? Yes. Competitively, like versus other trainers, not necessarily in the game. Oh, well, I know. Like if you take <laughs> like if you do Bulbasaur versus Squirtle. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, Bulba's going to win. He wins. He's going to have to win. Sure, but I'm not talking about that. I mean, in a competitive standpoint, typically in, uh, like, actual video game play from most of the, t I don't know, most gens, I feel like. I remember, like, X and Y, and I remember Sun and Moon and all these. Like, Venusaur, Bulbasaur, like, competitively, they were good. Bulbasaur is not the best one competitively because no. he needs to evolve into Venusaur, which is real good. Yes. So... Especially with that solar beam. I'd say he's A because I have one Pokemon from Gen 1 that is definitely S tier. And it's Bulbasaur. It's not Bulbasaur. It should be. We can come back and fix those later because the next one is going to be an evolution of him anyway. Which is Ivysaur, which is... He's not as good as Venusaur or Bulbasaur. No. But are we going to stick with basically the evolution line? Because he, he eventually goes, gets really good. He goes to C tier. Oh, okay. Right? That's where I put him. Where would you put him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, you just jumped on that real quick. You wait until you see Charmander. All right. Oh, no. Charmander. <laughs> so then Venusaur. Yes. <coughs> where are you putting him then? He's definitely A tier. No. If not S tier. I'm putting him in S. You made Bulbasaur be A. He belongs in S tier. Not biased at all. Not biased at all. No, he goes there. Bulbasaur's just below. He's cuter, but he's better fighter. Okay. You're not leaving much room for anything that's better than Venusaur. I put Ivysaur down here, and there's nothing better than Venusaur. Oh, okay. I mean, he could be maybe lower on S, but... You know what I mean? All right. Mm -hmm. How about Charmander? Weak to Brock. Weak to Misty. I know. Not really good against Lieutenant Surge. <laughs> Oh, especially, yeah. Like, if you had Charizard against Lieutenant Surge. Mm. Oh, man, that would suck. Yeah, Charmander is not... He's the great attacker, though, you know? Like... Does he go to C? For Charmander? <laughs> oh. Are you gonna put all of them there? <laughs> Charmander, Charmeleon. No, Charizard's better. Charmeleon's probably D. Yeah. I just think he's... Lame? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, since we're already talking about him, here, I'll I'll move Charmeleon and put him in D. Oh. 
<laughs> but Charmander, like Charmander's pretty good, but I would say Charizard's probably better than Charmander, right? He's also known, Charizard's known a lot. Honestly, I'd probably, even though I don't want to, I'd probably put him in S. In S tier? Just because he's like the second face of Pokemon, like competitively, like he might not be the best, but he's still got pretty good attacks. His flying fire is a fun typing combo. Um, but playability wise, I would not, like, I always had Charmander on my starting team, you know? Yeah. Until, like, I got Charmillion. good Pokemon. Until you got Charmillion, you're like, that guy is dumb. I'm going to get rid of Charmillion. <laughs> but if you would have had Charizard and no Charmillion, you'd have kept him. Because Charizard is cooler. I mean, he is cooler. Venusaur is better, but Charizard's cool. He's known. I mean... Yes, he's known. He is, like, like you said, like the second face of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. We have Pikachu, and then we have Charizard. Mm -hmm. But... I did not play with him much on my team. So you're, you're saying he's not an S tier? I mean, if we want to move him, we can drop him below Bulbasaur. It's fine with me. Oh, gosh. He's not below Bulba. He's probably below Bulba. He would kick Bulba's butt. Well, yeah, but I'm also looking at, like, how cool they look. And Bulbasaur definitely looks cooler than Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> Non-biased opinion. The Charizard. All right, so where would you say you put Charizard? You're I'd talking around it. I player. would put him A tier. See, I did it. Along with Venusaur. <sighs> with Venusaur? There's a Pokemon Wait, you want that Venusaur is in A -tier? so much better. All right, let's leave this here for now, and we can, when we get to your better Pokemon, we can we can. Oh, that's not adjust. too much later. We can adjust some things. I mean, Mewtwo is not, he's not above Venusaur. That's no, okay. no. All right, how about 007 Squirtle Squad? <laughs> I wish he had his glasses there. Squirtle starts out really good. He's up there with Bulba. So we'll put Squirtle in A. All right. All right, how about War Turtle? Now, if he had his sunglasses, he'd need to be above Charizard and Bulbasaur. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> War Turtle, ugh. I always feel so bad for the second in the evolution line, you know? Like, it's always. Just C. Like, he's pretty good, he's okay. He's not the, good. He's not the best, he's not the worst. Mm -hmm. Right? Like he's better than Charmeleon, right? Mm -hmm. War Turtle. I, I can put him with these three. I think that looks okay, right? Okay. What do you think? Yep. No? Yeah? yeah. How about... I just can't believe that Charmander's there, too. <laughs> How about Blastoise? <laughs> Blastoise is pretty cool. He's really good. A lot of playability. He has good defense abilities. Um, he's really good offensively. Like... We have Charizard that is the attacker, and then we have Venusaur that is very defensey, and then we have Blastoise that is very, like, in the middle, like a good balance, I think. <clears throat> See, I feel like Blastoise is very defensey, but you're right, Venusaur, he, like, he's kind of stallish though. Yeah, is the difference. Like his like withdraws and stuff, using his shell to like take cover, but then he busts out of it and kicks you with a Mega Kick or something like that. Yeah. How about if we put him in? B and move Charizard to B. <laughs> and Venusaur still stays in S tier. Let's see where other Pokemon fit. Cause like the tough thing is like starters are always like not always, but especially Gen 1 starters, I feel like are really cool. Oh, okay. And they're really good. And I like them a lot. Now if we go appearance wise, Blastoise is definitely up there. Do you think we should move them up to A? If we're doing it solely on appearance. Appearance? Just based on what he looks like? Yeah. All right. But I'll then we in. have to move Venusaur way down. What? what do you mean? Look at him. The he's freaking got... toadstool with a flower on he's him. Got a, he's a dinosaur frog with a flower. <laughs> and he can provide shade and nourishment. And he can rock a bye. Rock a bye. Yeah, the bobble bye. You know the bobble bye. That's why Bulbasaur's A. He can rock your little babies to sleep. They don't cry no more. It's great. He'd be a great nanny. <clears throat> all right, let's get into some non-starters. And I all think right, this will right. help really kind of start separating. And then we can be like, all right, this is definitely worse. Yep. <laughs> like, okay, so he's definitely not F tier because the middle evolution line will be F tier. <laughs> Metapon. <laughs> all right, so you want to put Caterpie E. Yeah. Caterpie. Hey. I think that's easy enough to go there, right? All right. Like, you, there's definitely better. But then, as you said, Metapod. He, he doesn't do anything. You can't can battle get, with him. He can get hard. He keeps hardening, yep. And he knows String Shot. 
Which I don't understand how, like... He just shoots it out of the tip of his... I know. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So we put him F? Yes. Okay. How about Butterfree? Which is actually surprisingly a good one to play with. Because for the same reasons as Venusaur, sleep, poison... Sure. You also get psychic moves yes. and stuff, which are really nice. Like confusion. Um, you get flying moves. Yes. But he is <clears throat> very weak. I think so that for he... me, like having Butterfree was always fun in the game, but then eventually he gets outclassed by other Pokemon eventually. Yeah. So B or C? Butterfly. In Butterfree. The sky, I can go twice as high. I could see B, maybe C. Okay. Let's go with, I'm going to put him at a low B. A low B. Yeah. B minus. Yeah. That's what we're going to go with. All right. So Butterfree in the B slot. Next up, we have Weedle. <laughs> um, I'll He's be... a little better than Caterpie. Really? I'll be honest. I like I like Caterpie better. Uh, yeah. Just because of his storyline with uh, the Pokemon series is why I like Caterpie better. His storyline with it? With Misty Gibbon. Oh, my God. It's a bug Pokemon. Oh, oh I hate bug yeah, Pokemon. For Caterpie. And... Well, and then, like, the whole thing with, like... like, oh, I kind of like him. I'll touch him. With the Metapod and, like, all the bee drills and then getting him cut and the Butterfree, like, free. But anyway, Caterpie and Weedle, are they both an E? I... He's a... But playability-wise, he's a little bit better than Is he? Why is he better? Because he has poison poison moves early on? Yeah. Versus the string shots and stuff? Okay. So you want to just leave him up here? Okay. He's not... He's worse than Charmillion, right? I'd rather have Charmillion. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. As long as we're on the same page there. How about Kakuna? <laughs> Matata. <clears throat> Just put him next to Metapod. Yeah, they They're don't pretty much do much. The same thing, right? Put them on top of each other? No, I was just trying to shrink them down a bit. <laughs> All right, so then Beedrill. Beedrill's really good. <clears throat> I think he's similar to Butterfree where he actually gets outclassed early on. Yeah. But I think he's fun to have. Uh, he has some... Early decent speed, and then like twin hits and poisons and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But I think I would prefer Butterfree over him. Really? Yeah. For me, I'd probably put him like at a D. Like, what do you think? I think he's an aggressive Pokemon, and that he his playability. I guess I never used him much, and I did use Butterfree quite a bit at the beginning. Free, free Butterfree. Um, but yeah. I don't know. He is definitely lower than Butterfree for me. Okay. For me. So do you C, D, where you put him? I mean, we have Charmeleon in D tier, so it makes it difficult. He's what? not better than Charmeleon. Charmeleon. He's not. So I put him below Charmeleon. Oh, okay. You want Charmeleon higher? Uh, no. That's fine. No? All right. Let's see. The next one is Pidgey. Ah. This is where Misty got her bikes stolen, right? All the Pidgeys. Spearos. Oh, was that Spearo? Those are Spearos. Oh, you're right. It was Spearos. Pidgey's not very good. And I always hated finding him out in the wild. Yeah, but he evolves into Pidgeot, which is pretty good. Yeah, but Pidgey himself. <clears throat> That's aces for some trainers, is Pidgeot. Well, yeah, but Pidgey himself. All right, so we'll put him below Beedrill. Because if we're putting the whole evolution line together as one, then that changes everything up. Okay, so if we drop Pidgey low then, and then we look at the future ones, you're saying those ones will be higher. Right, which is what we've kind of been doing. Yes. So then, how about Pidgeotto? Pidgeotto, uh, obviously better than Pidgey. He gets a little bit stronger. The attack is much better. Um, I think Pidgeotto learns fly versus... I think Pidgey can learn fly. You can just have Pidgey to know, learn? You just have to know fly. Maybe you don't learn the, the TM. HM. Is it TM or HM for that one? I think it's HM back in the originals. Um, but you don't get that until later. Okay. So maybe that's why I never taught Pidgey Fly. <sighs> All right. Well, then if we go to Pidgeot. Yeah. He's good. He's up there with Butterfree, like on your beginning starting team. I think he's better than Butterfree. Well, yeah. He'd be like not. He would be B plus. I think like low A. A minus? Yeah, I think he's a low A. Like, I think his speed's good. His attack is good. Um, he's got just kind of a cool... He's got the cool hair, you know? Like, <laughs> everyone has his hair nowadays. Everyone has their hair. Everyone has that hair, you know? <laughs> the swoosh back. I've seen Eric with his hair before. This is so true. So. It used to look just <laughs> like that, too. Like, 
swooshing off the bat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we were on the same page. I said B plus, you said A minus, so. Is that pretty good then, just right in this general area? Yeah. All right, who's next? Uh, let's see, that was 19? Yeah, we're on 19 now. Um, is it Radicate? I mean, Ratata. Uh, Ratata. 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 All right, so this, now, this may be in the top percentage of Ratata. So we may need to have him higher, right? What do you mean? <laughs> do you not remember like my Radita is in the top percentage of Radita? Oh, I thought that <clears throat> that's his Radicate though. Um, I don't know. I thought his Radicate died. <laughs> don't we don't we kill the rivals Radicate like in Gen One? I'm pretty sure like if if you if you kind of like read between the lines, it doesn't say that, but like. You go to the SSN before you fight Lieutenant Surge, mm, and yeah. you fight him, and he has Eradicate. Right. And then he's like, "Oh no, I'm Eradicate!" And he takes off running. Yeah. And then the next time you battle him, he doesn't have Eradicate. Oh my gosh. So I'm pretty sure you You're beat right. the crap out of him so hard that you kill his Eradicate. Oh, that <clears throat> makes me feel so bad. <laughs> I didn't realize that. You didn't know that? All right. Okay. All right. Um, so Radita though, speed. He also there's the tricks of like Focus Sash and Dur uh, Endeavor. Is that the other one? Like they basically like use a level one Radita to take out like Mewtwo's and stuff. Have you ever seen that? You take a Focus Sash, you take, uh, I think it's Focus Sash, Endeavor, something else, I forget. There's a there's something it stands for, but uh, he takes a hit, it keeps him at, at one HP because of the Focus Sash, and then you attack, and because you're at that one HP, it just drains like Mewtwo all the way down. And then you do like a quick attack and finish him off with one HP. Oh. It's crazy, but it's fun. <clears throat> because that's the move that makes your opponent's Pokemon the same as your health. Yeah, so I think it's, I want to say it's Endeavor. Endeavor. I know that that's a move, but I cannot remember. I know Endure lets you not die, but that's what the Focus Sash is for. Right. So. I don't know. Do you think Raditz is like a C? I mean. He's just a very neutral. Because he's one of the few that can learn that move. <clears throat> sure. I mean, he's got some decent speed. I think early on he's pretty good. Like, I definitely would rather have like, I don't know, Nina Kings or Articunos or something like that instead yeah. of Eradicate or Rattata. <laughs> I know, right? But I think for a basic Pokemon, I mean, he's just a mouse. That's all yeah. he is. He's a rat. Um, and then the next one is a bigger rat. Yeah. But what do we do with a big rat? Do we just kind of keep him similar? Yeah. Are they both kind of in the same ballpark? I think so. All right. Next up then is Spiro. Aha. He's so the one that stole Misty's bike. Well, no, Ash stole the bike. Because he was trying to save Pikachu, right? Because yeah. of the Spearow's attack. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we have a Spearow. Um, I will say Firo is probably pretty good. But Spearow's probably just, I don't know. He's up there with Pidgey for me. Just put him, I'm okay with kind of a D, maybe C tier kind of area. And then Firo. Because his design and stuff too is not one of my favorites or anything. No. I will I will use a Fira. But is he up there with Pidgeot? I think he is yeah, I think he's like here. Yeah. I'd say he's a little lower than Pidgeot. I I, I don't know like stat wise between the two of them. Mm -hmm. I would prefer Pidgeot versus Fero, but I would use Fero, especially like if I didn't have a Pidgeot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I like him enough. It's always good to have a flying Pokemon on your team, especially at the beginning where you're dealing with a lot of the bug Pokemon. Sure. So. And I remember in the anime being like, oh, is that a Fero that dropped a rainbow feather? What is that? But then it's like a ho ho. -oh. Yeah. I, I didn't know what a ho ho -oh was. And... All right. Number 23, Melanie. Um. Bam. Again. Again. All right. I'm like, it's been that long. I don't remember it in order. This. I don't know. I think he goes in B. Oh, really? Yes. Why? For one reason. Okay. His name back is. Oh my god. It's <laughs> Snake, which is cool. Oh. He's also a Team Rocket Pokemon, right? Okay, so. So that keeps our rocket's bit. gonna be the same thing. Our box probably just above Ekans, yeah, because he's a Cobra. All right, stick him there. You good with both of those like that? You don't have a problem Not with that? Really? Well, where where should Ekans go? <laughs> I mean, as a playable character, I'd say he's down there with, like, with a Weedle or something. With Weedle? But, but like, he's, so, he's got rap, he's got poison, he's, okay. he's just so much better. Okay, at least... dude, those two. <laughs> C tier. 
C tier? I think he's a C tier. Because Pokemon. it's a reoccurring move. Yeah. And he evolves into a cobra. Yep. Which is really cool too. But which I think, is his name backwards. But I think Arbok should be in B tier. Okay. I'm fine with that. He is better than Ekans. I mean, Ekans. That usually goes with the evolution line. They get bigger, stronger, attack harder. Sometimes faster, sometimes slower because they get bigger. Longer, better, faster, stronger. All right. So Ekans here next to Butterfree. We're good there. You okay with that then? Yes. Number 25, Pikachu. Yeah, that one I didn't <clears throat> know was 25. Ah, uh, Pikachu's pretty good, especially at the beginning, especially against all the flying Pokemon that you run across. I mean, sure, there's lots of Spearows and Pidgeys and stuff, some Butterfreeze, but... And then, like, he's strung against Charizard. Yeah. Charizard. No. He. <laughs> um, I mean, he is a face of Pokemon, too. Like, people recognize Pikachu. And that's why you have also... Charizard up there, it's because of the face of Pikachu. You. He's also pretty good in Smash Brothers. <laughs> Pika! Oh man, Ivy's always pretty good in Smash Brothers too. I should move him up. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't... <sighs> A? Low S, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? B? I'd say A. Middle of it. I mean, you have Bulbasaur up there just... too, so I'd say... Yeah, he's not a. as good as Bulbasaur. You're right. Thank you for putting me in one place. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I get what you're putting down. We'll just put him right in the middle of A. How about All that? right. He's right there. A, oh, no, wait, hang on, we'll do this. A, Pikachu. A, Pikachu. All right. Raichu, which apparently is obviously worse than Pikachu. Yeah, that's why Ash never evolved because they never his evolved Pikachu. It. And Pikachu beat A Raichu, Raichu at, right? Yeah. Against the, like, the electric trainer, you mm -hmm. know? So he's B. B Which for, was that surge? B for bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I think there's some better things, but. Oh, well, especially when we get to Alolan Riot Shoe. Uh, Alolan Being able Riot to so cool. surf and whatnot, like, this, that's a lot of fun. The psychic electric typing is such a cool mixture. I like it so Surfing much. Surfing Riot Shoe, I guess, is what I also meant. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say B is good for him. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah? She's okay with that. Okay. <laughs> Sandshrew. Oh, I love Alolan Sandshrew. Yeah, I do too. But this one is meh. Like, we'll get to some Pokemon that are similar to him that I like better. Okay. So, like, this, is he kind of in the middle of the pack? Yeah. Like, I imagine most Pokemon that we have on here are probably going to land in the C, D, B area. And then A's are for, like, really good ones. S are for the best. E are for pretty bad ones. F is for the worst. Because what he has sandstorm to decrease accuracy, right? Uh, and sand attack. Sand attack, mm -hmm. and then he has slash. Sure, and he can use dig, cut. Does like, he have dig that early? Uh, I mean, you can. You have to teach it. You have right. To get the TM after it's surge and stuff, but yeah. But you have to hit <clears> a certain <throat> level. No, you don't have to hit levels for it. I thought you did. No, they can just either learn HMs or TMs, or they can't. There's no levels for those. Um, so I think he's middle of the pack. What about his evolution? Sand Slash? Sand Slash. <laughs> is it bad we keep him C tier as well? No, I don't think so. It's not necessarily my favorite. I think he gets a little better, but it's not like it's... It's basically Sand Shrew, but it just evolved. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like... I mean, the stats and stuff go up, essentially, but I, I think there's there's some other ones I'd rather pick. Nidoran. Nidoran. Female Nidoran. Um, so... This Nidoran, like, I mean, of course they evolve and get Better. pretty good. Um, but just regular Nidoran. Like, he might be there with Weedle. <laughs> with Weedle? I don't know. I mean, he's definitely better than Weedle. So this one's the girl. Yes. Maybe maybe the girl and the boy of the Nidorans are both... The same. Like, D. But then I think the second evolutions are, like, a little higher. And then Nidoran King, Nidoran Queen, I think, are really N cool. Uh, yes, they are. Especially being able to learn Earthquake and, like... In Pokemon Go, they are epic to use, you know? Yeah. All right, so let's pop up Nidoran and, uh... Just put him, I guess... Down here as well. Yep. Given slightly out of order, but they're kind of the same. <laughs> Except he has uh, his horn attack and poison sting as well, right? Um, I think so. they both can get like double kicks, poison moves, stuff like that. Okay. 
Um, I was thinking the female one didn't play as well. Well, maybe not. Here's Knit Arena. Knit Arena is still kind of not great. It's like a, a little C. better. Yeah. Do you think that Knit Arena would also be like a C? He hits harder, so I think he is a little higher. Higher. C? Higher than some of these guys? No. No? Well, I mean, possibly, but. Okay. We can always rearrange some of these. All right, well, let's get to the last big two of these guys then. How about Nitto Queen? Nitto Queen is <clears throat> really tough. And like Pokemon Go, like she's taking a lot of Pokemon out for me. <laughs> sure, yeah. They can learn a lot. I mean, I'd say at least B. What's well, Firo, yeah, for sure. At least. Just because, um, like, Nitto King also is one of the main. Uh, speedrunning strats for Pokemon Gen 1 as well just because he can learn a lot of different uh, TMs and stuff too he has decent stats um, he also like you can also get him fairly early um, yeah. with the Nidoran early on and then oh, just yeah. get a Moonstone to evolve and stuff too and I think design wise they're really cool too I, oh, like, yeah. I like the pairing of them both together so I don't know are you good with that? I'm good with that yes. it's like a DCB yep alright 35 is Cliff Fairy. Fairy. Speaking of Moonstones. Fairy. Fairy. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. See? <laughs> it's not my favorite. He's annoying. <laughs> it is kind of annoying. The little metronome and all the stuff. He's just <laughs> waving his finger at me, being like, mm mm mm. Uh, Playability wise, I don't remember him kicking butt in anything. I mean, he's just annoying usually, but yeah. I would just go Clefairy as a C, I think. And then Clefable? Hmm. Higher up on the C? Yeah, maybe. He doesn't really learn much Just more. Just also C. Perhaps the order of these guys won't matter too much right now, but we'll get there. All right, let's see who's next. We got Vulpix. Vulpix. <clears throat> I always liked Vulpix, though. Yeah. Vulpix and Growlithe have such a sweet spot in my heart. Well, I like the design of Vulpix a lot, too. Just the, the multi-tailed fox idea. Yeah. And the evolution into nine tails. They're just so <clears throat> cute. I'd probably have it above C. Yeah. Oh, compared to all those Pokemon, yes. Like in a B, maybe? Or do you think you'd put okay. it higher? No, I'd put them maybe B. Right here next to Bulbasaur. <laughs> okay. And then as long as we have nine tails there, too. Nine tails there as well? Yeah. You don't think nine tails would be like in a B? You think that he's worse than Vulpix? I, don't, I like Vulpix better. You like Vulpix better than Ninetales? Yeah. But uh, now a low end Ninetales is gorgeous. Yeah. I like both of them. Okay. You want to put them both in A then? Is that your thought? Sure. I mean, he has Ninetales. He's lucky. He's lucky. All right. Um. Okay. We'll go with A. Next up is... Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Supposed to fall asleep. No one can make it through his song. He gets so mad at everyone because they won't stay awake during his song. And he draws mustaches on their face. That's hilarious. Um, I like Jiggly. <laughs> so where would you put Jiggly? Uh, he's not the greatest playable character. Um, yeah, I don't know. Jigglypuff for me is kind of middle. For me, I'm not like it's the best or the worst. His role is really hard to work with in Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> but roll out in the actual Pokemon game um, hurts. It's okay. It just You get locked in it though and sometimes you're stuck and you can't do anything. This is true. Like you're like oh let's put them back to sleep. <clears throat> I'm too late. So where do you want to put Jiggly? I mean he kind of has the same moveset as Clefairy so you kind of just got to put them together. C2 then. But I mean, him in the movie is adorable. So, is it the movie or the TV show? I think it's just the TV show. Is he better than Butterfree? No. Or Arbok or Raichu or any of these guys? Or any of these guys? I mean, storyline. All right, I'm going to put him there. Ah, uh, okay. Wiggly Tough. He's not as cool. D? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like him in Pokemon Unite. But yeah. He's a great support character, right? Yeah, he slaps the heck out of you. <laughs> All right, we'll put him in the D tier. Okay. 
Jigglypuff's better because he sings. Yeah. That good? Uh, next up we have <laughs> Zubat. <laughs> I'm putting him in E. <laughs> okay. Just because I got annoyed. I like Crobat. Yeah. Crobat, I think, is pretty good. That's not Gen 1. No. Good stats and stuff. But Zubat was just annoying. He wouldn't go away. He always showed up. And I didn't really want him. Yeah. Golbat. Golbat. He's pretty annoying, too. <laughs> is probably slightly above up here with the Pidgey, I'd say. All right. At least his stats are a little better. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't show up as often as Zubat. I mean, he's flying. He's poison. He has... Uh, uh, the confused rays and yeah, stuff. Yeah, psychic moves. All right. 43. <gasps> Oddish. Rick's Oddish. favorite Pokemon. Why? I don't know. I think it was the first Pokemon card he ever opened. Like, the first one he ever opened. Oh, okay. Well, then that's nostalgia. That's yeah. okay reason. I How guess. about right here? Like he's gonna get eaten by this mouse. All right. We think. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, he's just an oddish. He's just odd with grass, and then he evolves into this thing. <laughs> Gloom. He's like sleeping just and drooling, drooling. everywhere. <laughs> he looks like me. <laughs> Especially like last night, I fell asleep with my glasses on. She did. It's true. Um, you know, what? I think the design is interesting. It's different. I might put it up with like Charmander, War Turtle, Ivysaur, okay. maybe. But now, yeah, I don't know. Vile. I probably still put it in C. Okay. Vileplume, Melanie. What about Vileplume? It's pretty good. Doesn't he learn Solar Beam mm -hmm. and like he has Poison Powder, uh, Leech Seed, basically a, a lot of the same stuff as I stutter over my words. <laughs> a lot of the same move sets as Venusaur. Sure. However, Venusaur has a lot more defense <laughs> and can take a beating. And uh, I believe you needed a stone. To evolve them, Is I that right? believe so. I know you do for both. A leaf stone. I think there was two different stones, either a leaf stone or a sunstone for which evolution sun line you want to go Sunstone is blossom. So yeah, so you, I believe while Venusaur, you could just straight up go through. I think Victory Bell might have been the same way, right? With the leaf stone. Did they both need leaf stones to evolve? Maybe. I mean, this has been like 20-some well, years ago. They right? don't, uh, most of them don't need it anymore, I don't think, but I'm pretty sure. No, but back there. in the day, the game was much harder. <laughs> This just says, well, I don't know which gen this is, though. I feel like I remember having to use a stone, but maybe it was for Bioplume. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Or not Bioplume, uh, Victory, Victory Bell. Bell. Yeah, and this says uh, Leaf Stone as well. So I'm going to assume they both need a Leaf Stone. <clears throat> so yeah, the, uh, I don't know, the, the difference of having to evolve, like while they do have a lot of the same stuff, I think Venusaur is better in all those. But you can only yes. get Venusaur in the beginning, and you can get a Bell Sprout later yeah. which is nice so everyone can get a bell for the <sighs> does it maybe be ba -bum. Yeah. what do you think where's your bell? i think that's okay you think it's okay yeah you wouldn't go higher i mean lower? he has great attack he, great special attack and he gets happy it's like confused tired i'm good <laughs> yeah but like you know look wise it's not epic well, um defense wise like he doesn't take much of a beating yeah but, but this he, is also, I believe Erica's ace, right? Didn't Erica use a vile plume? I believe so. And I think like there must be some merits to them being aces, right? Yeah. So I'd say B were A for vile plume. All right, Paris. Eh, Weedle. Weedle Just tier. E. <laughs> eh, when the eh. Eh. Two. What about when he fully evolves and the Paris mushroom sucked. and the mushroom has taken over the little crab body? You know that, right? That's why he has no pupils in this compared to this. Oh, because he's all shroomed out? The mushroom has taken over the bo the body and there's no longer like the crab element anymore. It's just the mushroom Aww. controls it. That's what the story is for that. That's why like you see all these big pupils here and then they go away up here. So are they actually like crabbies? Um, they're not crabbies. They're just like a little bug crab thing. But eventually it gets turned into that. Because I always thought that they were just hermit crabs that just had a hermit shell, you know? No, they're getting taken over by fungus. That sucks. Poor guy. Uh, D? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he still sucks. <laughs> the D, a D for his death. Poor, poor dead parasect. All right, uh, 48 is Venonat. 
Uh, which is not necessarily the highest on my list. I'd say Weedle Tear. I honestly, yeah, I feel like it's it's not one of my favorites. So I don't use it very much. No. Um, and even the next one, Venomoth. Yeah, Venomoth, he's not not as good as Butterfree. Yeah. Um, but he did, he is better than Venonat because he is, you know, flying. So here? Flying and bug. In the C tier? Yeah. We do that. Man, our C tier is getting full. I know. All right. We're almost out of time, so let's get one more, maybe, like evolution group. Okay. And Diglett, Diglett. number 50. Dig. Where do you put Diglett? I mean, he learns Dig. All right, here's the, <laughs> here's the question. Is that his mouth or his nose? <gasps> Whoa, I'm seeing it two different ways now. It's almost like that blue-black dress. That was blue, and then it was white, and it keeps swapping colors. <laughs> and now, like, I keep seeing, like, a mouth and a nose. <laughs> like, he's either, like, or he's, like, honk. <laughs> I've never thought of it being a mouth before. I always thought it was a nose. I, I remember always believing that it was a mouth originally, and then, like, being like, oh, it's a nose. I think it's supposed to be a nose is what it's meant to be. Okay. But I remember when I was younger being like, I'm pretty sure he has a mouth. He's just like, <gasps> And he must eat all the ground. That's how he gets through the ground. <laughs> yeah, like an earthworm, right? Yeah, that's how I always that thought That makes of. sense. Yeah. That makes so much sense. My life has changed, Aaron. All right, so we have a Diglett, and we need to put him... I mean, I think I don't think he's F. I think he's better than these guys. Uh, is he better than these guys? No, I think he's there with Pidgey. He's going to dig in D. I'll put him down here so he can pop up out of the ground. Boom. See? All right. So then we need to finish off with the trio. The trio. All right. Not the most unique evolution design, considering <laughs> that he just was like, now there's three of them. Yeah, but he is a decently like earthquake and dig, you know? Try like, attack those are, is good. Yeah, like some really good moves. How about B tier then? I guess Butterfree's there. So, yeah. Like, he could be better, he could be worse. Mm-hmm. But... It's not really C-tier with, like, Sand Slash and everyone. Sure. I mean, War Turtle, Charmander, and Ivy Sword maybe need to be moved up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Hmm. All right. So, as of right now, we have 51 Pokemon on this. Which ones do you feel like are a little... Maybe we should adjust it a bit. Are there any Pokemon where you're like, that doesn't deserve to be there? <laughs> Maybe Charmeleon, not in D tier. <laughs> okay, that's the one? Um, like if you were to pick just one, what's oh, the one? Oh, just one? What's the one the most that you're like, that should move? Like, you know, Bulbasaur should yes, or whatever. What's your one? Hmm. I think mine would be Charmeleon. You think he should go down? You think he should go up? If Charmeleon went up, then I But he think... was a butthole in the movie. Not movie, in the TV series. We'll put him in C for now, okay? Um, for the most part, though, I'm not really against these guys in A right now. I feel like most of these guys in B are okay. Except Baltic. <laughs> Seems kind of random for A, but... But it's such a cool Pokemon. Baltic's and Ninetales. I like the design of this, and it seems so unique compared to Ninetales. Yes, I can see that. But, um, I might put Rattata in D. Okay. I think that might be a good place for Rattata. Like, I think he's okay. But, like, with, like, Beedrill and stuff, too. Like, I think Beedrill, Wigglytuff. Like, when going off of, like, which ones are... Like, part of this is, like, what ones are my favorites. But a mixture of that just goes with, like, how they look how good they are, you know, like what my connection to them have been over the years. So it's tricky trying to like rank these guys. All right. Are you good with this for right now? You think? Yeah. I mean, we have the two, uh, pods <clears throat> and F tier. So yeah. Right. So but we'll get more down. That's there. all I need. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get more uh, right now. I think it's pretty good though. I feel like this is a big group and it kind of gets less as we go and then it gets less as we go up to S. So yeah. And Which is how it should work. And we still have 100 Pokemon to go through. Oh my gosh. So, 
Yeah. If you uh, want to see more of the tier rankings, make sure you subscribe and let us know down in the comments uh, where you would rank some of these 51 Pokemon that we did. And we will be back with more tier rankings for 100 more Pokemon. Did I'm kind of excited. Did, did we get to your favorite yet that you were talking about that's definitely S tier? Oh, no. He's not my favorite. That, but he's definitely S tier? He's definitely S tier. But we're not there yet, so no. we've got more to do. Make sure you subscribe. Until next time, feel your Pokemality. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching along with us and let us know who you would rank where down in the comments below. Do you think Venusaur is S tier? Do you think Metapod's F tier? I don't know. We will be doing more in another video, so subscribe so you don't miss out. We'll see you next time.